Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Bible with the Daily Dabba. Last time Bible chapter Z would have chapter 9 of the Vegas. Which was the priests begin their ministry. But today we'll be looking at chapter 10 of the Vegas. The death. Oh spooky. Of Nadab and Abihu. Abi what? Abi what? Abihu. Their own sons and Deb and Abihu took their senses, put fire in them, and at an instant, and they offered authorized fire before the Lord, contrary to his command. So the fire came out from the presence of the Lord and consumed them, and they died before the Lord. <coughs> Rest in peace, Nadab and Abihu. Damn, what they even do with him? Uh, unauthorized fire, really, man. Uh, just that. Anyways, that's sad. Moses then said to Aaron, This is what the Lord spoke of when he said, Among those who approach me, I will be proved holy. In the sight of all people, I will be honored. Cousins outside the camp, <clears throat> Cousins outside the camp. Away from the front of the sanctuary. <clears throat> Wait, what? Oh, oh. Cousins. What? Oh, I missed the whole part. <laughs> Aaron remained silent. Moses summoned Michel and El Zephan, sons of Aaron's uncle Uziel, and said to them, Come here. Carry your cousins outside the camp. Away from the front of the sanctuary. So they came and carried them, still in their tunics outside the camp, as Moses ordered. Then Moses said to Aaron and his sons, Eleazar and Ithamar, Do not let your hair become unkept, unkempt, and do not tear your clothes or you will die. Oh. And the Lord will be angry with the whole community. But your relatives or the Israelites may mourn for those the Lord had destroyed by fire. Do not leave the entrance to the tent of meeting or you will die. Because the Lord's anointing oil is on you. So they did as Moses said. And then the Lord said to Aaron, You and your sons are not to drink wine or any other fermented drink whenever you go into the tent of meeting or you will die. It's a lot of dying, man. This is the last ordinance for generations to come so that you can distinguish between the holy and the common between the unclean and the clean, and so you teach Israelites all oh, the decrees of the Lord are given to them through Moses. Moses said to Aaron and his remaining sons, Eliza and Ishmata, Take the grain offering left over from the food of the offering, prepare the yeast and repent, send them to the Lord, and eat it beside the altar that is most holy. Eat in the sanctuary area, because it is your share and your sons' share of food offerings presented to the Lord. For so I have been commanded. But you and your sons and your daughter may eat the breast that was waved and thigh that was presented. Eat them in ceremony, a clean place. They have been given to you and your children and your share of Israelites. Fellowship offerings. The thigh that was presented to the Lord and the breast that was waved must be brought with the third portions of the food offering to be waved before the Lord as a wave offering. This would be the perpetual share for you and your children as the Lord commanded. What Moses acquired about the goat? Lionel Messi. Of the sin offering and found that it had been burned, he was angry with Eliza and Ithamata. Aaron was many sons and asked, Why did you not eat the sin offering in the sanctuary area? It is most holy. It was given to you to take away the goat of the community by taking the home of the sin of the Lord. Since his blood was in the holy place, you will be eating the goat in the sanctuary area as I commanded. Aaron replied to Moses, Today they sacrificed their sin offering and their burnt offering for the Lord. But such things as this happened to me. Would the Lord have been pleased? If I had eaten an offering today, when Moses heard this, he was satisfied. Okay. Well, that's a bit of a sad, sad chapter, right? You think people just die. It's just people getting upset. Just like, uh, people getting upset each other and arguing, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I just think, you know, there's in the Bible when you show my love, you know what I'm saying? Show my love. L is for the way you look at me. Oh, is for the only one I see. 
V is very, very extraordinary. E is even more than anyone that you adore can love. Anyways, guys, thank you all for listening. I am the Daily Dabber, and it's been a pleasure. And this is... Dear.